Welcome to the best $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for February 2023. My name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com. Here we are, a new month. Uh, there's been a few changes with the $1,500 build if you've been keeping uh, in touch with these monthly builds. For the $1,500 build, we've switched the CPU up this month just slightly to save us a little bit of money for the same performance. And then also switched up the uh, motherboard just a little bit to get a full ATX board in here. Um, which, you know, spices this build up even just a little bit more. So uh, compared to last month, this build is a little more, I think it's a little little bit more affordable and just a smidge better uh, with some improvements. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump right, right into it. So if you're new here, the $1,500 build uh, would be targeted towards those that really want to get that uh, gaming performance up at the higher resolution range. So you want uh, to play at 2K resolutions, kind of maxed out uh, with high FPS. This is for you. If you want a good game playing to 4K resolutions, this is for you. If you want to max out a 1080p, uh, should that be uh, where you want to go with uh, this uh, higher end budget build, then um, you can do that as well with the super high FPS. Uh, getting started here with the CPU we have is the Intel Core i5-13600KF. The switch, like I had mentioned, we'd upgraded the CPU this month to the 13600KF. Last month was the i5-13600K, so the non-F. The only difference between the two GPUs is that the F version that we have this month does not have the iGPU or the integrated graphics, uh, which means that um, you can't use this build without a graphics card. And this month and every month, this higher end build does have a graphics card, so it doesn't really matter in this case, unless that does matter to you and you, for some reason, just want to use the CPU's integrated graphics. Uh, you know, maybe you're saving up for a different graphics card and you want to use the build in the meanwhile. But uh, you can save about 20 bucks or so by going with this one for the exact same, it's the same CPU, just without integrated graphics. Uh, so this comes in at $296.99 here at the beginning of February 2023. To pair with this, since it doesn't have a cooler, we have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB Air Cooler, uh, CPU cooler for $57.45. This will do the trick. This is a great uh, air CPU cooler. However, if you do want something like a liquid cooler or something like that, or more customized cooling, you can consider that if you have more money to spend. Uh, and we do include uh, one example in the upgrade suggestions here on the site at newcomputerbuild.com, which uh, I'll uh, jump into at the end of this build as well. Or you can visit the site and, and check uh, out some of the upgraded suggestions as well. Moving on, motherboard we have is th uh, this month is switched over. This is a different motherboard than the previous month. Is the Asus Prime B660 Plus D4 motherboard. At uh, and this comes in at $124.99 here. Uh, the graphics card to really power this build uh, this month is the XFX Speedster uh, Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card coming in at a swift $599.99. This has gone down a little bit over the last few months, the 6800 XT that is. Uh, so a great time to kind of throw this card into the build. Uh, memory we have here uh, recommended is a Corsair Vengeance LPX 6 and gigabyte kit, 3600 megahertz kit of memory for $48. This has also gone down this month uh, to note. Um, and then the storage we have is a Crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe SSD, $82.77. Power supply is uh, is the Corsair RMX series uh, 850 watt power supply coming in at $149.99. This has gone up just a little bit in price. And in fact, power supplies in general have gone up just a little bit over the last few months. I've noticed they've gone up a little bit. So if any, anyone has a little more insight into that, uh, I'd be curious to know. But um, otherwise, this is a great uh, power supply at $149.99. I think it was 130 something last month. So just to give indication as to how much it went up. Uh, PC case this month also switched over. Uh, this is uh, to, for the, the, we include this month is the infamous Corsair 4000D. This is a great, very popular case. Uh, and uh, we've included it in the builds here uh, many times. Uh, but the Corsair 4000D coming in at $104.99. And this build comes in well under $1,500 this month uh, at $1,465. So leaving you a little bit of room, maybe for taxes, <laughs> and that'll bring you up to $1,500. Or if you want, uh, you know, to come in under budget, if your budget was $1,500, or if you want to uh, include uh, upgrades or something like that, if you want to spend a little more. And here are some examples. Uh, so, um, if you wanted to upgrade your GPU as one example, you can go with the newer RTX 4090, uh, TI as an example. Um, but you're going to spend more money. So this <laughs> right now, uh, this, uh, Zotac one that I'm uh, referring to Zotac, uh, GeForce RTX 4070 TI comes in at $799.99 at the moment, but it is a phenomenal card. <laughs> if you have the money and want to consider this card, it's a, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely recommended. Uh, CPU, if you want higher, uh, a higher performance CPU, you can consider the Intel Core i7, a 13700KF uh, uh, processor at 398.50 at the moment. 
Uh, or if you want uh, more memory, such as a 32 gigabyte kit of uh, Kingston Fury Beast, and this one's uh, the RGB uh, 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 RGB kit of memory, so it comes with uh, RGB strips on the top, so they're actually pretty pretty cool. Uh, $150.56. Um, and then, or, like I said, if you want to upgrade your cooling to something a little bit different, I'm a fan of the Be Quiet uh, liquid cooler. So uh, this uh, all-in-one Be Quiet BW. W008 Pure Loop, uh, so it's the 360 millimeter one, so the the larger uh, of uh, the ones, uh, air, uh, sorry, liquid coolers that they have, they have a few different versions. Uh, this is the one with the three fans, there's the two fans, and then the one fan. Uh, this one is $147.80 at the moment. But that does it for the February 2023 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, leave them in the comments on the site here if you want to visit uh, at the site, newcomputerbuild.com. Uh, and, uh, or if you're building or upgrading or whatever it is, uh, yeah, feel free to visit, but until next month, best of luck building your best gaming PC build.